some guys are a little bit hesitant, but it does make an effect. Oh, well hit. Deep left field. Gallo spun around, and Kyle Farmer's gone deep. I guess his hand's feeling all right, huh? He launches into the bleachers and left, and the Reds are staked to a two-run lead on Farmer's sixth home run of the year. I can hear it now. You know, son, back in my days with the Reds, I homered at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> He's going to have so many stories for McCoy, who already has his bedroom full of souvenirs. Farmer during the podcast, and Mustaka sends one to deep right field, and that is gone. Back to back homers for the Reds. And a 3 nothing lead as they have ambushed Luis Severino. There are times when you begin to win late in ball games, as the Reds have four out of their last five games. You start to get a feeling of invincibility. That was a changeup from Severino. Not a bad looking pitch, but Moustakas was all over it. First pitch, Stuart Fairchild high in the air, left field. Gallo fading back. He's at the wall. He oh leaps. My. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Back to back to back home runs and a 4 nothing Reds advantage. Back to back to welcome back Stuart Fairchild. How about that? Stuart Fairchild launches his first major league home run to cap off a trio of successive crushed homers. High fastball. Kid was all over it. That ball just kept carrying. He got some tremendous backspin on that ball. You could see the left fielder Gallo going back thinking he had a play and then he just ran out of room. 